so it should be fine. I see cold, though. I think we're close. Hey, look at this guy. <laughs> He's right on the gold volcano. He loves it. Man, he loves a gold volcano. That's good. I also love a golden volcano, because why not? Um, all right, fine. Let's do um, that then. We will tile in here with some sandstone tile and um, create a bridge here. That should be fine. There's some there's some oxygen in this little hallway here as well, so that's okay. You're ready to rip your dick off. You're two-handing your dick. Okay. The hydrogen is going to... Well, most of the hydrogen should collect up here. It'll... You know, it might fill the chamber, like, up to here, but it's it probably won't fall all the way down here. And even if it does, it doesn't matter. Hydrogen's pretty useful anyway. We probably want some hydrogen down here if we're going to make a cooling chamber, right? We want to be able to pump some hydrogen in anyway. It kind of does. So we'll play Resident Evil 7 Biohazard again one day. Never. The steam from the geyser will kill the slime lung if you let it out. Yeah, I know, but I don't necessarily want to do that. What you mean, like, if I dig into here a little bit, it'll this hot water will kill all of this slime lung. And the steam as well. Yeah, that's true. I could do that. It's too hot, though. Uh, my guys are going to be scalding and they'll get heat stroke and stuff. So I, I think I just got to get these suits online. We get the suits and then at least it, at least we can get like uh, a miner and a builder in a suit. Should be fine, right? <gasps> the hydrogen's coming down. Good thing we got this airlock up, eh? Jeez. I mean, a little bit of hydrogen in the base isn't, like, a huge problem, though. It's just going to float to the top, and then we'll probably just end up letting it out of this other airlock, right? Got to find the icy biome, boys. We got to get some wheeze warts. This is important. Who is this? Lover of sloths. Lover of slots all over it. Okay, we should be fine. Um, all right, so we want to also uh, power. We're not like super worried about right now. We'll finish off these bits and pieces here, um, and then we will um, try to make a suit. We don't we don't even have a single reed yet, do we? A reed fiber or whatever. Because we don't have enough polluted water. Maybe we gotta pump some polluted water in into here to get this kick started a little bit. It's a little bit dangerous though, getting the polluted water. Like I guess we'd probably wanna create like a pump. Maybe like in here. Can we even dig through here? Uh yeah, we can dig. What's this over here? We're getting so close. Yeah, it is. Look. Look. It's very cold. There's some cold slime and some cold rock over here. I hope it's not just like a another um, dormant geyser. Like that one went from being super cold to being red hot, baby. Look at that. 99 degrees. That's crazy. But look at all the, this obsidian. It's cold around it. How does that work? And how do magnets work as well? Use the spider sheep. No. Penetrate the piss layer to achieve icy nirvana. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's that's the plan. We're going to penetrate the piss layer. We're, we're working on that right now as we speak. Trying to penetrate this piss layer big time. <gasps> it is. No, it's not. It is. There's ice here. We found it. Okay, it's all the fucking way over here, if you can believe that. And it looks like there is some slime lung in here, too. But that's okay. So we get through this polluted water. Maybe try to get this polluted water into our piss tank so we can start growing these things. Um, the polluted water, I guess we could... 
mine this like that. Did you hear? My ultimate survival guide is out. Watch. Oh sorry about that. Anyway today not gulping cause Terry's <laughs> not enough piss, so back to it. <laughs> slurp 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 slurp. <laughs> Bear Grylls, thanks so much for the donation, man. I appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, I think we're going to try to pump some of this piss water uh, into here. Or at least, like, have it flow down um, into somewhere closer by. I mean, we might be able to just get this, like, really close. We could, like, flood it into here, potentially. Break in and do it like that. I don't know. Like, I haven't... I haven't fully decided how we're going to get all this piss water in here, but we do need to get some piss water in here. I don't want to use fresh water for the toilets or anything. It's like a big no-no in my books. I don't want to get to that point. I really don't. If only this piss water was like, would just move over a little bit. It never does though, right? How am I going to get this piss water into here? Easily. I want to get this piss water into here easily. Huh. Maybe if I finish this, I can open this up and it'll trickle down here all the way. All the way down here, all the way, and then flow into there. It probably won't quite make it, right? Janet says hi. She loved you. Oh. She used to love me. Use gravity and make a bit of a big old set of stairs for the piss to flow down. I'm, I'm kind of tempted, you know. I am kind of tempted to do that. I'm a little bit tempted to let this piss flow down. There's a lot of polluted oxygen up here, too. We would just have to... Um... <laughs> I saw it. I saw it happen. <laughs> oh, they can get off. So wait. They can drop down to where they to the level they want to go. <laughs> That's hilarious. Why well, I gotta see this in action. Okay, watch this. Whee! <laughs> oh my god, it's so fast. A man oh, walks that's into great. a bar with a slab of concrete under his arm. He says to the man We're behind the bar, a beer for me and one for the road. One for the road. Man walks with a slab of concrete under his arm. <laughs> Flame and shotgun. Thanks so much for the. <laughs> I get it. I get it. A slab of concrete under his arm. I get it. That's hilarious. All right. So there's gold here. Is it safe to get? That gold is safe to get. And there's some gold here too that's safe to get. So let's grab this gold. You are gold. Gold. Always believe in your gold. You've got the power to gold. You're indestructible. Do do be do be do. You are gold. Go. No. All right. Sorry. I don't think that the flow of piss is gonna work here. We we're gonna try it out anyway, though. We just gotta make sure that this. Well, you know what? We don't even really need to make sure, actually. I think if we just add um, some plastic metal transit tube tiles, plastic ladders. I think this can freely just flow down here and not get into the base, right? Am I right when I say that? There's quite a bit of piss there, but okay. There might not be enough, but at least it'll be enough to just, like, jumpstart this a little bit. We gotta drain this out anyway, because we gotta work our way through here, right? To get to the icy biome. It's, it's cold in here. It's cold. Okay, here it comes. Are we ready for Pissageddon? It's gonna happen. Pissageddon is about to happen. Are we ready for it? You're gonna have to run for your life. Oh, shit. He's gotta go have a quick puff. Before he carries on. That's why we need suits. Alright, great. That's all the gold that we needed. So we have no reed fibers. 
Uh, we're also gonna have to uh, create a um, rock granulator, which we can just shove in here for now. Actually, we'll shove it down here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's tile up here. So let's cancel that, cancel these, build that, and then we can power this like so as well. Has piss breakthrough occurred? It has not. Mesh tile inside the door for leaks. Yeah, that's not a bad idea actually, just in case there is a little leak. Just in case a tiny bit. Maybe if more comes down here than I thought was going to come down here. I'll prioritize that as well before he goes out and does. <laughs> Fuck, I love the fire pool. Holy crap. Why have I not built one of these sooner? It's great. That is great. Alright, oxygen levels are still very good in the base. Water levels, nominal. Run for your young life. Don't stand inside this piss. Run. Here comes the piss waterfall. Wow, there's a lot of piss coming down the down here. This is crazy. Okay, yeah, have a quick breath. All right. It's worked, everybody. The gravity has kind of worked. There's much piss flowing out down here. Okay, let's not do anything up there until we've emptied out all of this piss. It's coming down, baby. Hey, we might get a couple of... Hey, we might even get one of these Pakus. Maybe this Paku will swim this way and then we'll have a Paku in our fish tank. We'll have our own Bill Murray. No, it's not going to happen. Look. It's only got a little, like, tiny bit of water here to work with. I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, look at all this piss, though. There's more piss than we bargained for here. Okay, let's get this plumbed in then so that we can really start growing the shit out of these. We wanted four, so we're going to go with four. We're missing one, though. We've got a new duplicate here if we want one. Pacifist with strength and kindness. A yokel. Construction, tinkering, and learning. Duplicate isn't the brightest star in the solar system. He cannot perform research. Tidy, build, and operate, though. Ren. He's no athletics, though. That's the only thing. Tinkering, construction, and learning. It's not bad, right? We want just one, but maybe not these ones. No, I know. Mouth breather is not very good. I don't, I think like, I think we want somebody with athletics and maybe like ranching or something. Ranching would be pretty good, although not like super necessary either. Fuck, that's a lot of piss coming down the, down here. Do you want to see the germs? We're fine. No germs have made their way into the base. Our miner here might be um, just a little tiny bit grimy though. Might be a bit grimy. It's okay, we're gonna end up pumping out a lot of this anyway, right? Shit, we might have an overflow situation here. <laughs> uh oh. We have to be a little bit careful. We don't want to have an overflow situation. More piss than I bargained for. Oh my god. Please, please don't let this happen. Please, I don't want my base overflowing with piss. Okay, I'll tell you what we do. We stem the flow a little bit. Because this is more piss than... That's the most piss I've ever had in a tank. There's a lot of piss in there right now. Um, Smelting. Smelting, do we even need right now? I don't think we really do. Liquid tuning... High temperature forging, renewable energy. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Okay, let's go into advanced power regulation. We're gonna need that pretty soon, I think. All right, you have to build this quickly. Good. Okay, it just controls the flow a little bit more, right? <laughs> oh my god, look at all this gross water. That is disgusting. God, that is disgusting. Okay. So, it looks like um it looks like it's an underwater journey in here to get to the ice biome, which would be good to have suits for that as well. This should hold up in here. Is this going to create a whole bunch of polluted oxygen now? Okay, look at this. I think we might have a reed, reed fiber now. I think we might have one. Reed fiber. We don't have one. Is this seeds? This should be seeds. So we want industrial ingredient reed fibers in here too. Store our reed fibers in there. When we get them. Not saying that we, we will get them, but... Okay, we can uproot this bad boy here. And then plant it. And use up even more of this polluted water. Because it's going to start spilling soon. Oh shit, it's spilling over. <laughs> Holy Christ. That's really gross. God, there's a lot of piss. It's still flowing out of here. Look. I can't believe how much piss we've accepted into our base. Open up the floor just after the ladder and have the overflow fall into the cavern. Yeah, that's a, not a bad idea, actually. Then at least it's like, uh, it's, it's close to home and we can pump it after, right? Okay, we'll do this. It'll create a bit more space for piss. Okay, so thimble reed seed, as soon as this is uprooted, we'll put that in. And then... And then we gotta get into here a little bit, so that we can actually... Find some wheeze warts. We need to find some wheeze warts, right? Okay, and then stations-wise, we can make uh, exosuit dock because we know we're gonna want some in here. So this this could be uh, a reason to have uh, power. So we'll we'll make a dock for one. Get out of there! What are you doing in there? Don't drown! Okay, good. Yeah, I mean, it's fine if the hatches drown. Nobody cares about them. <laughs> oh, that's a bit mean, isn't it? That is a little bit mean. Okay. We're very close to having a suit. Very close indeed. You're doing great, Dad! We're just missing Please, some reed fiber. For the love of God, yeah. just give me slime along. Anything to get me out of this hellish piss hole. Everything stinks. <laughs> Some guy keeps slurping piss all day. <laughs> Literally all day. Slurp, slurp, slurp. <laughs> Kill me now. Oh, I'm sorry that you feel... I'm sorry that you feel that way, lover of slots. You're doing a, uh, <coughs> a stand-up job, though. Where are we getting this refined metal from? Am, uh, did I mine it up somehow or something? Like, I, I don't understand what's happening. My god, that's a lot of piss. There is a lot of piss in here. And it just keeps flowing as well. We've got this whole piss staircase now. Just when you thought you couldn't do any more pissing in this game, all of a sudden, wham, it hits you. And it hits you hard. Okay, I vote then that we... Actually, you know what? Actually, here, let's open this up a little bit. To like here. <laughs> so that we keep this contained. Because it'll empty out after a while. And hopefully we're pumping 
more than we're using more than we're receiving it looks like really full though doesn't it jeez we don't really want to contaminate this water down here either it'd be quite the mess to clean up it could be that a lot of piss gets in our base This is the problem, though. This is, this is what happens when... <gasps> oh, shit! Of course! What? This is just shitting out... <clears throat> Hang on a second! This is just shitting out refined metal! There's no magma coming out of here, it's just... It's just blocks of gold are coming out! What the hell? That is, it's solid, it's solidified piss. <clears throat> and now I know, yeah. Well, I thought that like liquid hot magma was going to come out of that. I didn't realize it was just going to spew out refined chunks of gold. That's amazing. That is amazing. So I don't even need this rock granulator, right? Well, for this, anyway, I can make other stuff with it, right? I can make sand if I need it later on. Rock to sand and whatnot. Fuck, that's amazing. That is so good. Okay, research. Um, smelting, liquid tuning, home luxuries. We don't really need right now. Uh, I guess let's go into um, automation. I don't think we really need right now. We don't really need any of this stuff right now. Let's get the uh, medical stuff research, though, I guess. Okay. That makes me feel a little bit better. At least, see, look, at least it's not like doing like a weird mucusy effect touching the ceiling. Now we have like a better idea of how full this actually is. Uh, reed fibers, we still haven't received any. Will these just auto harvest? Yeah, because we're growing them, so they'll just auto harvest on their own. Ah, oh, this is fucking fantastic. Can't believe we have a thimble reed farm. This is great. Jeez. All right, so we'll dig out all this. Uh, it looks like there's still like a heavy amount of liquid flowing over the top here. Oh no! Wait, is there like ice melting or something? Is that what's causing all, or is this just like a graphical thing? You're doing great, Dad! Hey Sips, get this. My daughter really, really wanted a fish for her birthday. Right. She kept asking me. So eventually I gave in. I think I really outdid myself this year. Because it is melting I ended water. up buying her chips as well. <laughs> wow, God. Nice. She really wanted a fish for her birthday and then <laughs> you ended up buying her chips as well. That's great. Hey, uh, Toko, thanks so much for the donation, and say uh, happy birthday to your daughter if it is really your daughter's birthday. But if it isn't, then just ignore that. Maybe you're, maybe that was the joke all along. Okay, so it looks like some of this ice is melting, which is creating even more water. Which means that we are going to need a much bigger piss tank. Uh, and the only way to make a bigger piss tank, obviously, is to uh, dig down here like this, right? And then uh, put a tile here, like so. And then uh, probably like, if if we can even do any of this, I don't know if we can. You know, like, I don't know if it's gonna let us, because it's gonna be quite deep and totally submerged in water as well. We'll try. We gotta we gotta accommodate this this flow of piss that's coming down this waterfall that we've created. Our all-star miner is just, like, neck deep in piss right now. Talk about commitment. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to mine out like that. So we don't want the piss to go in here. We want to keep the piss in the tank, right? Holy crap. That is a lot of piss. There's some fresh water in here too. 
quite a bit of it. So I guess some of the ice is melting from this ice biome. Which is a bit weird. Okay, we've got reed, reed fibers now. Look at this. We're putting all of this piss water to good use though, aren't we? We could build a pump down here and just pump it back into here. This could be like the overflow, right? We don't want this going in the base, that's for damn sure. How are the germs with this? Okay, so there's just food poisoning germs on the toilets now and in the piss water. <laughs> but um, we good thing we built a shower. <laughs> it's a really good thing that we built a shower. It, this was definitely a shower game, wasn't it? We needed one. Holy crap. That's insane. Is this algae? Is this algae? Is this algae? Is this algae? Yeah, that's algae. Holy crap, we got lots. Who's got hypothermia? Mubinski's got hypothermia down here. Ooh. Holy jumping. That's crazy. That is unbelievable. Oh crap, no, the water's coming down. And it's gonna leak out into here, isn't it? So actually, let's cancel this one. We'll just cancel that one tile, which is gonna be the worst, basically, but I don't want it to like drip into here either. We wanna contain it as much as we can. There's like a layer of fresh water on here now because of that ice. Which might cause some problems. Okay, so we have enough reed fibers now. We're just waiting for these guys to... To do what exactly? I don't know. They need to deliver them, I guess. And then we can, we can make a suit. And once that suit is made, we should be able to start working on this and produce some more oxygen, right? We might even be able to make two suits. Two suits are better than one. We're gonna need a med bay. Hypothermia will kick in if they're too, too cold liquid for too long. Yeah. Hypothermia, I think in, I think in this mode, hypothermia, in my experience, has never been a problem. Oh! Hey, the piss waterfall is ended. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's more than enough piss. Alright. Well, hopefully we'll have uh, exosuits. Hopefully we'll have these exosuits up pretty soon, and then it won't be much of a problem. Okay, we'll just leave all this like this. Because this is like totally submerged right now, so it's pretty good. So a little bit of fresh water. And then if there's any more flooding, which there might be in a minute, it'll just be more water, right? Oh my god, this guy's got serious diver's lungs, it's crazy. Okay, here comes a whole bunch more water. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, perfect. Um, Reed fiber, two of one. Okay, let's get somebody making this, and then we can hook some of this stuff up. So power-wise, run this wire. I don't really want to run that wire. We'll run it like... Just for now. Obviously, we'll power, we'll power most of this stuff with, uh, with natural gas. But for now, we're just going to have to hamster wheel it. That's okay, though. 
So we're gonna charge up the battery here. Looks like we made the thing so we can deliver it. Can we make another one of these? Okay, we'll make another one. And it just means that when they go out to do work, they can go out for longer. So we're going to want to change this around so that we have a tile here, tile here, tile here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to build, this is our, our like our, our, our sort of like airlock. Who's suffocating? Mubinski. You stuck? Okay, Mubinski was stuck there for a second. I guess he couldn't figure out how to get past all this piss. That's understandable. Okay, so we seal all this up. And then we're gonna build like a... Because we're gonna have a checkpoint here. We'll build a ladder in here. That goes down, right? So this mesh tile can come up, come out now. We don't want the gases. We don't want to leak too much oxygen out here or anything either, right? We want it to be airtight. We don't need to worry about the overflow here e anymore either. <laughs> okay. And then we're just going to kill another hatch as well, because why not? All right, so we should have two suits. We just got to pump oxygen into them. And we have a duplicate here as well. Unconstructive, small bladder, tripophobia. Was that? Oh yeah, for, for not wanting to dig. Okay. So we're we're we've done all this with four dupes. That's not bad, right? We got plenty of food. And then we got really lucky with the geysers, though. Holy crap! Like this one's been amazing. This one's gonna be amazing. This one's going to be amazing, too. Look at all this fresh water down here. It's crazy. It'll be fine. What? Check my plumbing pipes. Emergency in the bathroom. There's no emergency in the bathroom. What are you talking about? Oh, I see. Yeah. There's almost an emergency in the bathroom. Oh, that's a close one. Thanks um, for that. Thanks for reminding me. We deconstructed this wall and we took all the pipes with it. That's crazy. Holy shit, that would have been a huge piss disaster. It would have been a real big piss disaster. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I appreciate your honesty. I appreciate you being so candid about my my bathroom pipes. A piss, a pistastrophe. It took forever, yeah, I know. I totally forgot I had the pipes running up there. Great. Great. Just great. Oh my god. Lover of slots. Having fun? <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. Okay, so we should be good for... Um... <clears throat> You're doing great, Dad! Thanks. Thank you so much. Wait, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that because we need to have a gap for this to go in, right? So where are we going to build this ladder? The 
this needs to be as high as this. And then the ladder. If it goes down there, we're going to drip piss down into here, which we don't really want. <coughs> so I don't know where we're going to actually put this. Okay, another thing that we need to do is we need to um, pump oxygen. So this, how much algae do we have? We have quite a bit of algae. And I think our pressure is pretty high in the base. It's like fairly high. What's the heat like? It's creeping up a little bit, but not much. We haven't had too much heat creeping in from here either. And we're completely insulated on this side. Well, mostly. We could really do with insulating down here now, I think. Okay, so let's insulate down here as well. And that too. Just to stop all this heat getting in the base, right? Um, okay. We have plenty of piss. We have two exosuits pretty much ready to go. Um, so we just gotta figure out where we're gonna build this ladder to go down, he down and around here. So we wanna like, mine out all of this. We'll finish these jobs first, though, and then we can mine out all of this. And then I suppose we could just dig down into here, because, well, we've got suits. It doesn't really matter either way, I guess, right? It's a lot of piss. I know, you're right. It is a lot of piss, yeah. It's, uh, it's not all created by the dupes, either. It came down from here. Where there's plenty more piss to be had. It looks like this might be melting. Or parts of it are melting. Which has contributed a lot of extra piss to the cause as well. Okay, so is this all working again? Yes, okay. We're back in business, baby. Look at all this reed fiber we have. It's crazy. It's good. And we have showers for people who are feeling really grimy, too, which is nice. Um, we'll just go into renewable energy, I guess. We're going to need to get another dupe pretty soon, I think. Uh, and maybe do some... Well, I don't even know if we really need to necessarily rush ranching at this point. I think we're fine for pretty much everything. We've got plenty of food. Um, our dupes are pretty happy. Most of them are doing their jobs. We could probably promote... Toto into just scientist and lover of sloths. We could promote you into that. Art student steampunk 360. He's got seven morale, but he needs eight to do the courier supply job. I just leave that for now. We might want to do some more art, right? Where can we put some more art, though? I guess we can put some in here and in here, right? Okay, so we'll do this insulation, and then um, we will build a ladder that goes down here. Uh, it looks like more water might come out here, but I don't know. I mean, we could just flood in a whole bunch more if we really wanted to. Dig all this out. Then we gotta, and then we gotta get some. Um, we gotta get some oxygen into these suits as well, and then create the checkpoint as well. So we're probably gonna need like another one of these.
Oh, we can't build that there because of the pole. We don't want to take the, um... Okay, you know what we're going to do? I got an idea here. Look, we're going to do this. want all this oxygen escaping here although having said that it doesn't really matter we're gonna airlock this in here and we're gonna put one of these um one of these bad boys in here and we're gonna pump oxygen just out of a chamber here into these because we don't want to take the base supply for it right it doesn't make sense i was gonna just start taking the base supply but then we don't want the base suffering just for the sake of like two fucking suits right Nice ideas, 9,000. Impure piss. Yeah, I know. We got a little bit of blue piss in here, if you can believe. That's disgusting, isn't it? God, that gets my goat. I hate impure piss. Really, I do. Okay, Mr. Ideas. Mr. Ideas has got a pretty fucking sweet idea here. It's just coming together right now. Okay, let's make another one of these stations. Let's get another exosuit dock. The more people we can get out here, the better, right? Because once the checkpoint's up, that means that people aren't going to be able to leave the base. All right, so we're going to want to have in here um, some power. Right, so we're gonna have a generator with a battery. And then it'll be outside, so any heat generated shouldn't come into the base because of the insulation, right? If that clean water gets in the hydroponics, they'll have to be manually emptied. Oh, really? That's annoying. So you're saying that I should have a filter? Because it looks like there's possibly some more fresh water coming down here. You're doing great, Dad! Liquid bridge. Goddamn. I Liquid just filter. had surgery. I had a bunch of scar tissue removed from where I fell on my head last year. I think I actually died when it happened, and I've been in some kind of fresh hell ever since. That explains all my bad news since then. Love you, bye. Hey, Dumbfist. I had a bunch of scar tissue removed from where I fell on my head last year. I think I actually died when it happened, and I've been in some kind of fresh hell ever since. That explains all my bad news since then. Love you, bye. Sorry to hear that, Dumbfist. Fucking, I hope you're doing okay, man. Thanks so much for the donation as well. Everybody, can we please have a uh, big clap, clap, clap for um, for poor Dumbfist, who um, is is suffering a little bit. He's not having the uh, the best time. Poor dude. What a poor dude. Um, where can we put this? You know, we could probably put this in here. But wait, where do we want the fresh water to go to? Fresh water can just drip out. Ideally, we want to put it in there, right? But then we'd have to run this like all the way over. So we'd probably want this here. Output from the pump into there. And the fresh water could just go into the into the toilet system, right? That would be fine. Because there's only going to be like a little tiny bit of it. All right. So liquid pipe then is going to pipe um, out of here like so. Into here. We will need a liquid bridge here. We're going to want to... Ah, balls. You know what I just realized as well? Emptying pipes is really fucking annoying, isn't it? Okay. 
let's disable this for now. Before we start breaking pipes, because we're going to get piss everywhere, right? Okay. That's going to be that, and then anything else comes out into here. We don't need liquid for the suits, it's just uh, air, right? So. We just don't, we don't have enough dupes. We, we, we really need to get another one. There's a job that allows to empty pipes without Hi, making Dad, a how mess. how are you? That's fine. Hey, I'm good, Officer Cop. How are you? I'm good. Thanks so much. I hope that you're also good, Officer Cop. We're going to empty a lot more piss into here, so... We have to get this all set up and ready to go. We don't want any fresh water getting pumped. So, four, four dupes have served us well up until now, but we could really do with having an extra, an extra hand here. It would be good, right? Because we're running, um, we've got a lot of jobs that we want to do, not like super duper quick, but fairly quick. And we're going to struggle to do them, right? Insulated tile. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's great. It's keeping the heat right out, baby. And once we have some Wheeze Warts, we can set them up like... We'll, we'll put one here, and then I'll keep all the air around here nice and cool. And then maybe we can put one like here, too. Just to keep the base like a little bit colder. And then we have to make sure that any oxygen we pump into the base is like... Um, is okay, too, right? I think this got a little bit of fresh water in it. Yeah, both of these did. Both of them got some fresh water in. <clears throat> That's annoying, isn't it? So it's already happened. The worst has already occurred. Oh, look at this. We got some oxalite in here. We don't even need an algae thing just yet. So we get the pump in there. Once all this stuff is uprooted, we can get the power and stuff in there as well. And then we should be able to pump some oxygen into here. The animal's drinking the piss. I think the fresh water is just in the pipes feeding them, so they're blocked. Yeah, I think you're right. There's a bunch of fresh water that got through. I think this is as well. We can empty the storage. What happens if we empty storage? Oh, it just made a, a bottle of piss. Or a bottle of water. <coughs> okay, that's good. So we don't have to uh, break them or anything. We can just empty what's in there. So once this is all up and running. So this is going to be polluted water. So the, and the, the other should be the clean water, right? Okay, good. So this is ready to go. We can get the manual generator in here with a um, battery. Good. It doesn't really matter. And then we could get the um, air pump in here too. Gas pump. It's gas pump in here. We'll put it right at the top, and then we want to have uh, power to it. We're going to have to build a ladder to get up there and do the work. <laughs> it's going to look like something out of like Half-Life 2 or something now. 
It's like some maintenance room with a ladder in it leading up to like an air vent and stuff. I like that. Okay, and then we're gonna want to have the um, the gas pipes piping this air into here. This should be cool air. How cold is this air? It's 32 degrees. Okay, that's not too bad. So, um, pipe. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Perfect. Okay, we got a dupe here too. So we got a pacifist with a small bladder and like fucking um, some good stats. Bottomless stomach. Okay, we're gonna take Ren. He's got athletics, he's got tinkering, he's got creativity, he's got a bit of everything. He's not bad, right? Who wants to be Ren? The oxygen is not going to last long. We're going to create more though. Don't worry. Small bladder sucks. Okay, tell me why does small bladder suck? Does he just have to go to the toilet all the time? Oh, they have lots of accidents. Okay, fuck that then. Bottomless stomach. He's going to... So, seven athletics. Twinkle toes and buff. But eats a little bit. So this is like this. This is kind of like one and a half dupes in terms of food, right? Ren, I don't want. I don't want somebody who's gonna cause accidents. I don't mind getting Ada though. You want to be the peeped god? No, you have a tiny penis. But you know what? Fuck these guys. We'll wait for the next batch. Maybe the next batch will be a bit better. Who knows? We'll see. Okay, so is this ready to go? This just needs to be plugged in. Okay, we'll plug that bad boy in. Look at what we've created here. What a mess. It's kind of a sweet mess though. I, I love this base. I think this is the best base that we've made so far. I think this is a great one. <clears throat> it's not bad, eh? It's not too bad at all. All of our crops are fine. We have plenty of food. We have uh, plenty of oxygen being created. We have a bit of CO2 at the bottom here that we can eat up later with uh, with a machine that eats up CO2. We've got a couple of jobs outstanding here, but we've got we've got the means to shit. Oh yeah, no, that's okay. We can't get to any of these jobs now because it's just forced them to do these ones now instead. Okay, we don't want to pile on too many jobs because we already have tons outstanding. We're just waiting for a, de a decent uh, fifth dupe. I want a gas filter for the suit line. Manual generator will create CO2 when it's used. Okay, that's fine. I think you get a filter. Okay, so that oxalite is gone now too. So we're gonna have to have to have a um, an algae thing in here, right? And then we're gonna need a filter too. Although, if even if CO two comes off of it, 
it'll be at the bottom of the room, right? It's unlikely that it'll go in. What happens if we... Can we, um... What happens if a bit of CO2 goes in there? Is it a problem? Will it wreck it? They can't get into the room. They will be able to in a minute. We just had to do this... This meshing. Okay, we're gonna open the floodgates up here once again. Kind of like once and for all. And get the rest of this water down here. We gotta finish off these piping jobs here too, but it's okay for now. So what's actually in, in here? Water and water. So we have to uh, empty the storage here and empty this storage as well. Into the piss pit you go. No. S please switch this off. Please just switch it off. No. No. All right. <laughs> I wish that you could just get them to do something, like, manually. It just does not want to want to turn off the thing. And nobody's gonna really walk in here and do it either, are they? So we might have to just like empty out the pipes instead. What's in here now? What polluted water, polluted water, polluted water, polluted water. Okay, perfect. So these sh things should be growing again. Ten kilograms of polluted water saying that irrigation is still a problem. That's kind of annoying. Oh, we might have some fishy friends too, look. We might get a couple of wild pakus in our fish tank. It's piss world, yeah. There's a, speci a specific priority for switching so you can set it to highest. Okay, on whoever that we're we're gonna set send in here. Steampunk three sets the end of the day, so I have to wait till tomorrow morning. But yeah, we'll send somebody in there to switch it off and then switch it back on again when we need it. I mean another thing we could just do is cut the wire. Okay. We'll just cut the wire. That should be fine, right? Where did all the oxygen go? Oh shit, are we pumping it already? Oh yeah, we have. We pumped it out a little bit already. That's crazy. Okay. Good. So we gotta get somebody up there to run around in the wheel again. Okay, Mubinski, you got it, baby. You can breathe for days. Look at all this oxygen. Boys, we're pumping at a steady rate. <laughs> I don't think we're ever going to fill up this battery. But we're going to get these suits filled up manually if it's the last thing that we do. <laughs> Jesus. So this whole thing will only work if somebody's running on a treadmill. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. It just means that... You it, it, well, the only thing is, is that they, they'll have to leave the checkpoint to come out and run on it as well. So we're going to need like, so like a backup suit that is basically never used. Okay, so this is stopped pumping. Okay, let's, so let's see if the liquid is out of here. 
it's mostly out of here. So we should be able to now do that. And then this liquid bridge 